to the Hatch Embroidery Software Getting Started series. In today's lesson, we will learn all about colors. A lot of times you will open a design and the colors look great. Sometimes you open the design and you wonder where did these colors come from? And you'll think, my design has lost its colors or the software didn't open the colors right. Let me try to give you a little bit of information about why this happens. We've been talking about stitch files and EMB file and other types of stitch files and what they can and cannot retain, and colors is one of them. In the Hash software, if you open a new blank design, design window that has no stitches in it whatsoever, it will open with your Hatch default color palette at the bottom. This is your design palette. These are the colors that you will use to make changes to the design that you're going to digitize or that you're going to open and change colors with. Now, if I open an EMB design, it will open with the colors that the digitizer saved it in. Notice that the colors that are in the design, these are also the colors that you see that are open. It retained all of them. But then we go to stitch base files. Some stitch files do have capability of saving colors, even though they can't save other things. For example, the VP3 or the PES files, they do a pretty good job at retaining colors. They do have a limited color palette that they can change to. Let's look at this bird if I have saved it as a PES file and opened it back up. It looks pretty good almost the same as the original. That's great. Most of your machines will use an EXP or DST file which is not going to retain colors at all. Now if you have one of those files it will open up in the default colors of the application that you're opening it in. So if you open it in Hatch it's going to open in these colors. If you open it in the machine or another software, whatever has been set as the default colors for that particular application, that is what that EXP or DST file will open as. I have saved this file to a EXP and then opened it back up. And notice that you see hatch default colors here. It has opened it up using the colors of the default colors in Hatch because it doesn't know anything about colors. It knows there's a color stop, but it doesn't know what color that particular object had been assigned originally. Here I have a comparison of the EMB file that was able to retain the colors that it was assigned and a DST or an EXP file that was not able to retain the colors, only the color stops. You can see the difference there. Now that doesn't mean that this is not going to stitch good. It is going to stitch good. You are just going to need to reassign the colors before you can stitch them. Or make a note of what the colors are going to be in the sewing order and then use that to set up your machine. Now one of the things that I do, because I do stitch on a machine that needs an EXP file, so it's going to look like this. What I do is I take my EMB file and I will open that EMB file to the preview. The preview will give me my sewing order, the threads that I had assigned it to. I will print this out. And then I take this to my machine, and then I look at this for the sewing order for my design. At that point, it really doesn't make any difference what color these show as. You can just use your worksheet to know what color to stitch next. Before we move on, let's have a quick review and look at the colors across the different formats that we open. If I open a new blank design, it will open in the default colors of Hatch. If I open a design that was 
created and saved in the .emb, it will open in the colors that I had saved for that design file. Again, that's a reason it's very important that you always save as EMB. If I save it as a PES or a VP3 or one of the machine formats that's capable of retaining colors, then it does a pretty good job at keeping the colors. But when I save it as an EXP or a DST, that file format does not save the colors, only the color stops. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you check out our other videos in the Hatch Getting Started series.